Oh my gosh! You got plenty of room. <laughs> oh, oh. oh my pretty little paint. Experience over things, experience over things. It's incredible. We're the Farnsworths. We're an RV travel nurse family and we've been on the road for three and a half years. And this summer, we've been exploring Alaska. It's John's last stretch off from work. We really wanted to see Homer. We wanted to stay on the spit. And unfortunately, this is Labor Day weekend. We didn't plan it very well. I'm not a very plan far ahead and advanced kind of person. We largely wing it, as you know. There's no available sites. For Alaskans, a lot of Alaskans, we are told this marks the last camping weekend and everything basically closes and people winterize their RVs after Labor Day. So we didn't really plan for that and there's not a place to stay. So we're going to skip Homer. We still have a pretty cool adventure planned on the Kenai Peninsula, even if we don't make it all the way to Homer. So let's get this place packed up. John just went and fueled up. He got some more propane because we're gonna boondock for the next couple of days. So let's go. Today is Sunday. We had our release and I got my Real Talk Tuesday all scheduled. So now we're ready to go and hit the road and it is five o'clock. We have no idea where we're going. Are we going to Homer? Are we going to Seward? Are we going to Cooper Landing? Are we going to Moose Pass? Moose Tooth? Moose, whatever that place is called. We don't know. We have no idea. We're just gonna drive on Seward Highway and go wherever we feel led to go. That's how we roll. Guess what? It's raining again. I saw a whale. What? I saw a whale. You saw a whale? I better give you the camera. I think I saw a whale over there. Yes. Guys, there's whales. I told you. Oh my gosh. Come on, there's a whale. Oh my gosh. I told you. The beluga whales. Wow, they're really close to the At the location. <laughs> They say the Kenai Peninsula is where Alaskans go to play. We decided to head towards Seward, where we already knew of a few boondocking sites from our last trip there. The first one was a bust. It was full of people, so it was time to give the more adventurous riverbed site a chance. You know, the one we scoped out last time but didn't get to stay. You got plenty of room. <laughs> oh, oh, did we scrape? I don't know if we scraped or not. This morning we came out of our of our RV and John goes, oh my god, look at this! It's, it's incredible. So find me at the rainbow's end. And we can right up to the top again. Champagne on a Tuesday. The first time we visited Seward, it rained the entire time. The cloud ceiling was so low that we couldn't even see the surrounding mountains. This time the sky was clear and it gave us some amazing views of Resurrection Bay. Just sitting here enjoying my coffee in the sunshine. It's quite a different look than it was the last time that we were here in Seward. We are at the Sea Life Center. Who's on your back? You can see if you want. Yeah, yeah, we can see here. Should we go show her around? Okay, let's go. Why don't you guys go up the escalator? Yes. Look, Russia is only 53 miles away from Alaska. We're closer to Russia than we are to Kansas. 
or any of the lower 48. I'm looking at this map right here and this is a map of the fish and sea life around here. But this line right here, doo -doo -doo, that is the international time date line. And I didn't really ever think about that ever before. But now that I see it on the map, I've seen it on several maps, it, it includes all of the islands of Alaska. But if you go beyond that, you've gone forward an entire day. Isn't that wild? So if you want to go into the future, you just have to cross the Bering Sea. We have tufted puffins. And that's the ones with the tufts on their heads, I'm assuming? Okay. How deep can they die? Um, we've seen puffins get up to 300, and common murders wow. have been found in crab pots at 600 feet deep. Oh what? Gosh. I would never have thought. Wow, yeah. I would never, I would have only guessed like, you know, yeah. 40 maybe? So our- Hundreds of feet deep, that's amazing. How long do they hold their breath for? That we are not sure of because they are very fast and agile swimmers. We know that they get what they need and get out. One of our favorites was the touchables. What better way to learn than literal hands-on? Did you know that sea cucumbers are soft and squishy? Or that anemones are sticky and won't shock you? Even the sea urchins with their scary needles are not actually as sharp as they appear. Perhaps the ocean isn't as scary as we thought. No. <laughs> Who am I kidding? The ocean is terrifying. Cucumbers are your favorite? Yes. Look, it's Aaron and Eva. Yeah. <laughs> this is me and Aaron. Don't touch me. Played an unfair Don't touch me. Game. Oh, 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 oh. oh. <laughs> Push you in the water. <laughs> Wait, what are we watching? <laughs> I know, do you know what that is? That's great. a survey for them and one of the I had two questions that were kind of neat one was what was your favorite animal I put the wolf eel I, I thought that was really neat. uh what was your favorite animal Chloe king crab that oh cool. that's cool uh, Ethan uh I I probably like to seal brothers the seal like the fighting oh, seals yeah, yeah. Aaron. Ooh, I like the sea pickle <laughs> the sea cucumber <laughs> whatever I sea call cucumber them. Uh, what was yours, babe? Mine's the puffin. The puffin, puffin was super cute. <laughs> We're now headed to Crown View, or Crown Point ATV Trail. I don't know, it's a mining trail. And the reviews are all awesome, except the last one that was posted was in June, and it was impassable in June because there was still snow. So we're hoping that it has had the whole summer to melt and that it's passable. And uh, we're gonna go check it out, see what we can find. We don't know what we're getting into, it's kind of muddy. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Avoid confrontation with bears. Don't surprise them. Don't force me out of bed in your society. Don't push me down the road you've been down. Don't try to fix my head. It's just your anxiety. Don't hush me now because I just want to shout. Oh, 
that was the first time it's elevated my heart rate on the trail. <laughs> Up in the clouds of the day. Oh, where your leaves don't take no deals. I won't stay quiet when there's so much left to say. Welcome to the top of what was it? Crown View? Crown Point. Crown Point. Crown Point, view. I believe. It's incredible. <laughs> this is the Kenai Lake behind us. And unfortunately, it's clouding up now, but it has just been so gorgeous today. It's, it's been a pretty epic been Jeep ride an up here. Adventure. Went to the top and then came back. The top kind of wrapped around and ended up by this old, um, what was it? Old mine. It's an old mine. Yeah, where there were some cables and stuff. Yeah. So that was kind of neat to see, but it wasn't as picturesque as we're here, yeah. especially with the sun coming through and the little rays of sunshine hitting the lake down there. Oh, you got service. <laughs> oh, neat. Cool. Cool. But yeah, That's it's good. been it's been beautiful, and the Jeep has uh, was put to the test today and passed. Yes, Wonderfully. this is um, the most adventurous thing that she's done. We still haven't named her, and I feel like she needs a good yeah. glacier name. Something. Like we've thought of Summit, um, Kenai. Uh, nothing's working yet. Yeah. What do you guys you know? think? headed back down and now I'm on the gnarly side so the gnarly side the gnarly side it's the steep side that drops off <laughs> if you have a sensitive snipper valerian smells like sweaty clothes it doesn't smell good just say that it's like sweaty feet maybe is a better description not like bo but like sweat that's what they smell like and when we were on hatcher pass i couldn't figure out what the smell was and um my mom said you know valerian root smells bad maybe there's like valerian flowers and i was like huh and turns out they're native to north america and alaska and they're everywhere all right My sweet baby. I cannot believe the difference that sunshine makes here. This is the same place we were going to boondock last time, but we couldn't because we didn't want to disturb the peace with our generator and I had to edit. But I have already scheduled everything this time, so we don't have to run the generator. And this is seriously Notice. an awesome yeah. boondocking oh, site. Beautiful boondocking site out, yeah, out oh on the gosh, riverbank. It's so gorgeous. Is that good glacier water? What is that? Coach, what is that? Look! I missed it! Oh, they did not like that. Well, I'm not sure. I went back and forth between it being... At first I thought, well, maybe it was a really big dog. And then we looked at the stride length and the stride's too big. So then I was like, okay, well, maybe it's a wolf. But even then, it's still a really big stride length. So then we were like, okay, well, maybe it's a, a black bear. But now... But now we're seeing this last one here. Those, are, those are definitely claws. The claw points in it. So I'm guessing, I don't know, maybe brown bear or grizzly. Same I thing. don't know. Because we learned what? Brown bears are the coastal bears. Yeah. Grizzlies are the inland. Bears. And this little girl here last night, she's content right now. But she was barking at something last night. She was not very happy. Oh, there's hardly a cloud in the sky. We timed this great. We're on our way to Alaska River Company where we are going to take an all day float trip up the Kenai River. And I'm so excited. We just got to get there on time now. <gasps> this is the scary part. Will he make it? Oh, I don't know. Oh 
my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, you might clear it. Holy moly, like an inch probably to spare. Ooh, that's close. It is close, but he made it. Between the whales, the rainbow, the sea life center, and the amazing views on our Jeep ride, you'd think we got our fill of the Kenai. Nope, not even close. Join us next week for our last major Alaskan excursion as we float 17 miles down the Kenai River. We'll take another epic Jeep trail and we'll get ready to hit the road back to the lower 48. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you out there.